so y'all know that we like food and we like drink. I can't have drink right now, which is why we have made it our mission to explore Orlando and get some of the greatest food and drink all around town. Most people think that when you come to Orlando, it's just theme parks, but I can assure you there's way, way more to do than just theme parks, including eating amazing breadsticks and donuts and pizza and all the foods. I have been wanting to try all these amazing places to eat before the baby is born. It's very important to us, one, that we teach our baby to like good food, but two, that we get to experience all these amazing restaurants before baby comes popping out. So get excited to come along this food adventure. I get to do the drinking portion. I also eat to be supportive. Michelle's cravings get to control the adventures. Our story began in winter 2021 when we found out we were pregnant. A bit later, we got our first glimpse of our little girl. This was to be our first child, so the experience was beautiful and emotional. And for reasons unknown, the entire experience made us hungry. So we wiped away the happy tears and headed to Maple Street Biscuit Company. It was here we decided on our pregnancy bucket list to hit as many great Orlando restaurants and food stops as possible before this baby popped out. Let the mission begin. This looks so good. I <laughs> like drool coming out of my mouth. Just go for it. <laughs> oh my god, that sauce is crazy. That, that is so good. Maple Street Biscuit Company began in Jacksonville in 2012, but thank the Lord it is spread to Celebration Florida because their flaky buttermilk biscuits were enough to bring us to happy tears yet again. Our culinary adventures continue to one of our favorite spots in Orlando, Audubon Park. This district is loaded with tasty options, but we fell in love with East End Market, a neighborhood market and food stall serving just about everything. Founded by Central Florida natives, East End Market is a food-oriented community hangout that welcomes everyone. So Lineage Coffee is also an East End Market where you have Gideon's, you have Domo, you have uh, Doji Donuts. But this is great local coffee. I got a cold brew white with a little honey syrup. Nice pick-me-up after a couple cocktails. Top still on it. <laughs> now it's better. Is it so good? Oh my gosh. Oh, you had like an after reaction. That's really good. Uh, well, I love honey anyway, but that's just like good, strong cold brew coffee with a drizzle of honey slipping down. Slipping down. Okay, we are at the East End Market in Audubon Park. But well, you can't come this far and you can't come to Orlando without stopping at the amazing Gideon's Bakehouse. So we are going to get a half pound cookie and we're not mad about it. <laughs> so let's talk about Gideon's cookies for a moment here from Gideon's Bakehouse. Uh, this is just like, it, it started out with just one guy who uh, had a passion for baking and he ended up starting to sell his cookies here at the East End Market because he used to just make them for like people on his team. And they, he posted on Instagram the other day, the line when he first opened was like out the door and it's pretty consistently that way like all the time. The East End Market one is a slower location than the Disney Springs one, still busy, not quite as busy, but You'll understand why when you see these cookies, because they are half pound cookies. You heard it right, half pound cookies. They're wrapped like golden treasures. Now this is the best part, um, half pound, truly. Uh, when you think chocolate chip cookie, you're like, oh, there might be a few chocolate chips in there. Nope, this one is doused in chocolate chips and it's perfect in every way. Now they say um, a serving size of one of these cookies, it should serve four people. Caleb and I can attest that we've finished four cookies in one day before. <laughs> yeah, those two are two serving sizes. We're probably gonna eat them all in one sitting. So yeah. I'm pregnant. At Gideon's, there's no reason to stop with their half pound cookies. Yes, they have cake too. This is Gideon's Salted Caramel Cake. We have had their cookies. They're the best cookies in the world. Mark my words, best cookies in the world. We've never tried their cake. Should we just maybe take a nibble? We should take a okay, nibble. Okay, here. 
Gideon's cakes are three layers of heavenly buttercream decadence. Seriously, this is good enough to induce early labor. We got lucky. The best way to describe that is pure creaminess, right? Mm -hmm. You taste the salt and the caramel, which I love salted caramel, but it's not overpowering on any flavor or chocolate, and it's just creamy and wonderful. To complete the sweet treat trifecta, it only made sense to get some donuts. If you watched our Orlando Donut Crawl video, then you know how amazing Dochi's crafted mochi donuts are. Dochi's are a hybrid of Japanese rice cake and a classic donut. These sweet chewy treats have a cool bubble ring shape that looks like the adult version of a baby chew toy, but tastes much better. Next, we traveled to the Milk District for a famous food stop that serves nostalgic southern comfort foods and just happens to be a favorite of the one and only Guy Fieri. We're gonna fill our pie holes. I'm gonna take more than seven bites. I'm gonna take all the bites until my plate's happy. Our public service announcement is to get here early. Seven Bites is incredibly popular and often has a line out the door. But even if you can't stay for breakfast, brunch, or lunch, they also have a grab-and-go bakery serving some scratch-made treats. This is intimidatingly large. Going in. This is called the seventh trimester. Perfectly fitting because I'm in my second trimester. <laughs> mm -hmm. That biscuit is so fluffy and delicious. And the mac and cheese is just perfect on top of it. Freaking yum. So normally Caleb is the biscuit guy, but I got a biscuit this morning. I didn't realize it was a quick service or fast casual restaurant, so I had to make a game time decision. And whenever macaroni and cheese is involved, it's always a good idea. So this is a garlicky biscuit, and it's got an over hard egg on it with bacon, and then macaroni and cheese topped with potato chips and bacon crumble. And then obviously I got fried green tomato because they're my favorite, and it's amazing. Oh, hot sauce and runny egg on this. I'm gonna drip. <laughs> the hot sauce with the maple syrup. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. That is one hell of a way to wake up in the morning. <laughs> We have heard about this place for years in Orlando, but have never been, and now I'm slapping my wrist because this is one of the greatest breakfast sandwiches, I don't know what you would call this, I've ever had. This is a Lee's style waffle with pearl sugar that's got eggs, hot sauce, and freaking crispy chicken underneath. It is absolutely incredible. They said on here that when the chef had a surgery, she was limited to only seven bites of food. So she said that it better be the best damn seven bites you've ever had. Michelle, maybe the best damn one bite I've ever had so far. Well, that was one hell of a breakfast. That was so good. It's making that baby bump pokey out a little more. Yeah, it's very pokey outy. <laughs> See that baby bump? Is the, hey, is the baby happy? Baby happy. Yeah. Baby like a lot. Baby got some biscuits. <laughs> you know what pairs well with Southern comfort food? More Southern comfort food! So we followed our cravings to Winter Park to try the famous hot chicken sandwich at the Coop. The Coop was created by the same team who brought us Florida's favorite barbecue, Four Rivers Smokehouse, and it's equally delicious. With made from scratch biscuits and breakfast and niche Southern specialties like catfish and grits, this place will leave you full and happy. Oh, that is like fiery hot. Is it, is it on my face? Uh-huh. Does it turn you on? Always. <laughs> <laughs>
Nashville hot chicken sandwich, an absolute <gasps> must. My mouth is on fire in this mask. It's in the best way possible though. It was so perfect. Yeah, I'd order it again. Uh huh. Still in Winter Park, we ventured to the Hangry Bison, which has been fighting hangry fits since 2018. This is what we like to call approachable sophistication. The food is locally sourced, the cocktails are potent, and it's all served in a relaxed lounge that wouldn't be out of place in the Prohibition era. And if that's not enough, they were voted the best burger in Orlando by the Orlando Sentinel. How's this for a signature cocktail? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're like a magician. <gasps> oh my oh gosh. My gosh. I feel like I'm in like the mountains of like Blue Ridge, Georgia right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael's the man. Michael took care of us. That is phenomenal. I, I'm no um, kidding. That's like the best presentation of a cocktail I've ever, ever. had. Ever. You can taste the smoke. Yeah. No lie. Yeah. You can taste the smoke in there. Told you. Mm. Okay, good recommendation, man. Thank you. You can taste that hickory. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'd give this to my wife, but she's pregnant. <laughs> Are you ready for the Dodzilla burger? A short rib burger on a pretzel bun with bourbon caramelized onions. Bacon jam. And bacon jam. And ham. Yep, I'm in. Don't watch this if you suffer from yolk envy. I'll be back. <laughs> the pretzel bun, number one. I love a pretzel bun. Number two, the ham with the yolk, like the egg yolk and the, the short rib burger together is phenomenal. Yeah. Like the flavor, I love a short rib. I've never had short rib with ham and egg on it. Like this is a truly unique burger to me. Never had anything like this. It's freaking fantastic. I will put that as a tie with Adler's and Davenport yeah. as the best burgers in Orlando. Oh, that man. burger was freaking it awesome. It was so good. So, so good. You Success. agree? Success, yeah. And those fried green tomatoes, mmm, mm, Delicious. Next stop, Claremont, Florida. Downtown Claremont is so underrated. We love it here. It's amazing. The pregnancy adventures of food continue. Yay. We're at Southern on 8th, and they just opened uh, February of 2021. We've never tried it. We've heard really good things. We love Claremont. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try. This baby bump's going to be enjoying some really good food. Boop, 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 boop. One of our favorite restaurants in downtown Claremont is the Southern on 8th Kitchen and Bar. This locally owned gym has a scratch kitchen and a rustic welcoming decor that would make Chip and Joanna Gaines proud. Their menu is full of entrees that will make you want to rub your belly and take a good nap. And they have a world-class whiskey selection. This is the Endless Summer. This has got Riposado tequila, and then it's got lemon juice and watermelon agave syrup, and it's yum. The old fashioned get down, maple syrup in it. Their drinks are expertly crafted, and so is the food. We have fried green tomatoes with micro lettuce, pimento cheese, and bacon jam. Freaking yum. You may have noticed multiple orders of fried green tomatoes in this video. It's no coincidence, as this was a first trimester craving for my wife, and she loved every one of them. That's one of the greatest fried green tomatoes I've ever had in my life. And I've had many freaking fried green tomatoes. Oh my gosh, the bacon jam and pimento and cheese is killer. Being a product of the South, I can literally make a meal off of biscuits. And as you can see, I almost did. Spring onion and cheddar biscuits. Yeah. I got muffins, I got biscuits, pimento cheese, honey butter. I love biscuits. That honey butter is life.
yummy, yummy. Southern on 8th and Claremont, add it to your list. Oh my gosh, it Phenomenal. Was so good. Great service, great atmosphere, and the best food. And I got a food baby. Literally. And here is where our first trimester food tour came to an end. But don't worry, we still have two trimesters of amazing Orlando restaurants to go. Join us in round two to see Michelle's baby bump get adorably larger, while we sample a comically large pizza, a pair of superb brunch stops, and so much more. Orlando is big, y'all. And if you like this video, please leave a like. That makes a big difference for two amateur YouTubers like us. See you next time.